this is a statement by southeastern leaders, uh, uh, southeastern Kenya leaders. It is regrettable that uh, Raila led as mere group of opposition leaders have called for resumption of demonstrations, even after both government and opposition committed themselves to the path of dialogue. From the past demonstrations, the actions of rioters have led to loss of lives, destruction of property, numerous rape cases, increased cases of banditry and destabilization of the economy. It is clear that Raila has no single in interest in the welfare of uh, the people of Kenya. Rather, his actions are geared towards carrying out a coup d'etat. He has been using his desperate supporters and dumping them at the earliest instance. His appointments are dished out only to his close family members. Historically, Raila has proven to be master of chaos who thrives in violence. He has been engaging goons and verdicts in his demonstrations and causing unbearable pain and loss, losses to the areas he takes his demos. Despite numerous calls by international community, advisors and people of goodwill, he continues on his path of destruction without minding the welfare of Kenyans and hampering the president's effort to lead the country to recovery from the mess Raila Odinga created alongside his ally, Uru Kenyatta. We want to applaud our, Kenya, uh, our Kampa community, patriots for standing firm and vehemently refusing to participate in the evil demonstrations. We all clearly understand the, that demonstrations are not the answer to solving the national issues that we have, whose origin predate to the last regime. To suggest that only the current government is responsible for the existing problems is to say the least hypocritical. We should not manipulate our citizens. We honor our community for treading the path of common sense. God has given us good rains, and we are busy in the farms raising crops and food sufficiency. For the last 15 years or so, the Kamba nation has been misled by a single individual who has, just like Raila Odinga, been working on his own or for his own benefit and that is his family, and bringing forth no development at all. The Kamba nation has taken a new political path, and we shall work with the government, ignoring any person who purports to represent us in the demos. You can clearly see that in the last demos, the single individual has been participating alone. We refuse to be included or enticed in such, to such uh, uh, demos that are not meaningful to our community. Raila is seeking accommodation in Ruto's government, plain and simple. That is a game he plays. He did an NDP Kanu Maja and became the Secretary General of Kanu and the Minister of Energy under Moi regime. Moi did not endorse him in 2002. <coughs> As a result, he said Kibaki Tosha after decamping from Kano and was a key cabinet beneficiary in NAC government. In 2008, after the post-election violence, he was made part of the Nusumukate government as prime minister. He shared the government with Kibaki. Recently, he became a shareholder of his handshake government with Uru Kenyatta. In all these cases, his followers remain paupers with nothing to show. Raila Odinga is not above the law. He must, as such, seize his games and act the statesman he is supposed to be. As part of the over 52 million Kenyans, we urge President Ruto, more than ever before, to stand firm and defend the nation. Bearing in mind that he is not only the symbol of national unity, but also commander 
in chief of the defense forces.